today we uh, today uh, we ha we're going to talk about time travel, but from the movie Terminator. And I got a little conspiracy for that movie. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting to hear this one. Yeah. So tell us about Terminator Part One. Well, you know, Terminator series. Um, Part One. You know, if you know no Terminator, Terminator. You know, um, humans build a machine, a uh, super advanced machine called Skynet. Eventually, the military, it's really primarily built for the military. The military decides to make it in charge of all defense systems and all its computer systems, but mainly on defense. And the, comp the, the machine gets self-aware. And when it gets self-aware, the humans decide, oh my God, this has too much power, and they try to pull the cord. So when we went to try to pull the cord, the machine actually launches the American missiles at Russia, and Russia l launches the missiles back at us and destroys the world and the machines take over. In the future, the humans then have to fight the machines, but the humans are the underdogs. Eventually, the humans start to get an upper hand. They're led by a human called John Connor, and the machines decide to send back an assassin in time. They decide to send back, and this is in part one now, they, send a, they decide to send an assassin back in time to kill the mother of John Connor before he's even conceived. So, and it's, so a human comes, so a machine comes back in the future, and the machine a human comes back in the future, the machine comes back in the future. The machine comes back to kill the human. Comes back and, to the past. Yeah, to the past. And the human decides to try to save the mother of the resist leader of the resistance, John Connor. And who exactly is this human that came from the future? Um, well, in the movie, they revealed that the human who came from the future was actually John Connor's father, who he sent he sent his own father back in the future, back back to the past. Because so John Connor sent his friend. It, we, we figured out. Basically, that John Connor in the future, who's supposed to stop the machines, had a friend that he sent to the past to help his mom or save his mom because his mom was going to conceive him in the future. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was basically the bad robot, was going to go in the past to assassinate her, right? Yeah, basically. But my question is who was the guy that he sent to the past? He sent his father. No, but did he know, like, like what was, what was the relationship? Well, the guy didn't know that he knew, but he, he had to have known because he, 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 because when he went back... So does he ever tell her who he is to John Connor? He, the, the guy, eventually, John Connor knows he got conceived, and by somebody in the future. So he had to know the guy as his father, because how would he, he knows that, okay, this is the person I trust to send back to the future. Okay, and this is where my conspiracy comes in. I think... John Connor sent himself back into the past to save his own mother. Now, I mean, she could have babies with whoever she wants. Because you realize when you, when, when you time travel, uh, you, he already had his past. The John Connor in the future, let's just think about him just so people don't get confused. He already has his past. He has his mom, he has his birth, he has his growing up, he has his timeline, right? Which is his universe. But he's going to time travel to the past, even though it originated from his mother's timeline. Once he intercepted that timeline, he immediately creates an alternative universe. So, the John Connor, so, so technically the mom that he's going to interact with, or he sends someone back to the past with, immediately becomes alternative universe, so it's not going to be the same one. So in essence, his universe doesn't even happen anymore because he, alter he, he changed the, pa the path, path of it. But I think he went in the past to save his mom. One thing led to another, and bam, incest. I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty well... Yeah, pretty. And let me tell you why. Because if you're going to... If he sends his friend to the past, his friends, because obviously in the future, it was so messed up for humans, they had to hide. If you send your friend back in the past, they'd be like, wow, this is great. I'm just going to stay down here. You know what? I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to stay here and live in the past. Fuck it. What, what makes him stay loyal to John Connor? Because if he, he knows the war's in four or five years, he could say, man, fuck it. And he knows four or that. five years? Come on. I don't remember exactly how, how long it was. But well, the kid has to be like 25 before he becomes John Connor. So okay. that's at least 25 years. I mean... By that time, the guy could be dead. <laughs> so you're saying, basically saying 
he sent himself back in time, but why they didn't show that in the movie? Because of this is well, the the reason I think they didn't say in the movie is because it's too controversial. People don't want to hear about them hooking up with father, but you know it, the ancients. People, people don't want to hear about who incense, father, um, mothers, and incest. But at the same time, think of it. Technically, his dad is completely different, so it's his half mom. It's totally, it's totally politically incorrect. I know, but at at that time, it's so incorrect. You know what you want to say? What it is? You're basically saying he had sex with his own mother. To yes, he himself. did. That's what I mean. Yes, make it because clear. because he needs to make sure this happens. He wants to make sure that no one else takes the submission away from him. He's going to be the only one that's going to be as loyal. And in the movie, he says, "I loved you. I loved you for a very long time." I'm like, who says that? You know what I mean? And that's when I looked at Sarah. I said, "Oh wow, that's his mom." And then you know, bang, what, whoop, de bing, bang, bang. I mean, it could be, but it could be corny. It looked it, it, like it, it too. It could be bad writing too. So I mean, you know, you got, you know, you got to force the love scene in. So he, he, he says, "I love you," because and he, he's hanging a picture up in the future. John Connor has that one picture, and he decides to give it to his friend. I'm sorry, but John Connor. I think if he, if he knew, John Connor knew. If he knows anything about time travel. Once you go in the past, you you change the alternative. So his alternative future is definitely not going to happen. So once he time trips in the past, his future is done. His whole existence doesn't even work. You know what I mean? So once he went in the past to have his have you know once it once the future goes in the past and, and messes up that, then you definitely mess up the alternative for the future. So his his alternative future will definitely not happen. So in essence, if he was to send someone in the past, as he's living his everyday life, like he says, "Oh, here, Johnny boy, go to the past." It, all of a sudden, his whole reality would just shut down. Because the minute that they stop that that um, linear from happening, it goes into an alternative universe, a parallel universe. So in essence, if they didn't mess up with that timeline, yes, John Connery would have been in existence. But once they jumped in the past, they had made it to alternative. So he would probably jump in the past as himself because it's his mom and he wants to care her. He'd probably be more loyal to her than anyone else. Even though it's nicer out there, he's going to do the mission 100%. One thing lets the other, bam, she get pregnant and she get pregnant to him. So in essence, he's able to save himself because he can, you know, impregnate her and then create himself an alternative universe. But in, in, in essence, it won't look like her son that everyone knows with a bandana around his head. Because he his she never met his father because he messed that from ever happening. Does that make sense? So in essence, it's still the same gentleman, but an alternative universe because the he didn't meet her soulmate like she's supposed to meet his soulmate. It's a completely different look. I mean, I can't say it's not it's impossible. I just don't think that's the case. Why not? I just think that I don't even think when people write sci-fi movies, they even know about real physics. I mean, come and on, time this, the girl who wrote Ter- the girl who wrote Terminator wrote Matrix. She's pre- pretty freaking deep. Yeah, but the people who who actually released the Terminator, um, they just stole it. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't look. I don't know the original script how it looked because That's true. from what I understand, both movies came. She's from it. really deep. I understand that, but the people who stole it may not have. Um, I'm pretty sure when she, when she stole it, she probably had all that crazy stuff in there, and they're like, no, 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 we gotta, this. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, no, no. <laughs> either way, I mean, if you're if you're crazy theories, right? Terminator is still one of my ultimate franchise. And, you know, three and four weren't it's that awesome. great, but I one mean, and two I, was awesome. I just think it'd be yeah, maybe this is a little bit too controversial to make a video on, huh? Well. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about controversy. Like, you know, I just say... I just think... If, if, like, I don't... I don't like, if, ta- if you don't a time like that, I like to turn the channel. Ta- ta- from a time traveler perspective, it would make sense that if you're going to ch- go back to make your alternative future, I mean, you're going to have to think totally expansive. You would only be loyal to your mom and to your al- alternative self. Because he's basically expiring his future so that he can live in a different alternative life. Because once the Terminator came in the past... They're saying basically this reality is done. Well, in a sense, yes and no. In a sense, you could say once he came in the past, he sp- he sped it up. Who knows? He sped up. I mean, because he didn't see it in part one, and in part one he didn't see it. But then, you know, in two and three they hinted that I mean they couldn't even stop it. And two, they killed the person who made the Skynet, and they still made and Skynet still came like ten years later. So. Yeah. You know, the universe has a has a brilliant way of fixing all. itself. I mean, even even explaining because you know they hint that. And two, which is basically the same as one, basically, is the same storyline. They hint that 
they made the Terminator because they got the pieces from the Terminator that got killed. But then somebody should ask, wait a minute, but then how did that even, how did one come about? Because you, this, the future, in the future, if you look at the future itself, mm-hmm. a Terminator didn't even come back in the past because that future didn't exist. If you, you understand what I mean? Like, they basically said the machine came because the Terminator came back in the past and they got the part, some parts of the machine. Mm-hmm. The Terminator came back and they built the super machine. But how did that even come about? Because the movie they said the only reason why the Terminator sent this stuff back was because they were losing the war. Mm-hmm. So how did that even come about the first time? So they're all the time. Writing. Well, if, well, the thing is, they're, they're, you have to you have to see that you know we're thinking of one timeline. These are time travelers. So if you're gonna be time traveling, you're gonna have to look at like multiple and infinite personalities and and be like, okay, I got to fine tune to this one because. It's infinite possibilities. Everything exists. In the present moment, we have alternative selves looking at us, trying to make help us manifest them. So they're trying to figure out the point that's going to help their thing. So the so basically the future, the 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 machines are like trying to manifest to pull the energies to go one way, while the futures of the humans, Connery and them, John Connery is trying to push it one way. So that's why. You know, it, it would make sense that's the case because that's why he sent only one human in the past. But then going forward, it was all um, machines. machines. But John Connery, if he if he, he if he only sends one person in the past, it, and, he, and and going forward, he only sends machines, even though the machines are the ones that turned against him. It would make sense that he, the only person he sends in the past would be himself because that's his mom, that's that's his mission, that is his livelihood. That's the only one he tries. So it makes sense that he would he would transport himself to make sure that this happens because people are egotistical. Once they go in the past, they're like, "Wow, the '80s live I do is play Pac-Man all day. I'm cool. I'm not forget the future." <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, a real soldier's not gonna do that. So we'll see. I mean, but how? But what's the loyalty? I mean, okay, John Kennedy. What's gonna be? Well, yeah, yeah, but what? But what keeps you loyal? I mean, no one really knows your loyalty. You attempt it. But what I'm saying is, who who's gonna be more loyal to the mission? John Connery himself, or a soldier who? It's like sure. Yes, yeah, a hypothetical question. <laughs> I just, you know, theory. But he should if that's the case, he should have sent a machine in the past. The well, machine he did the next two times. But why didn't he do next it the first time? Okay, we rest our case. Okay, peace. there you go. Peace.